All right, everybody's talking about rising egg prices. In fact, according to the latest consumer price index, they're up more than 50% from just a year ago. Man, combine that with more people moving out to the suburbs and you have all the makings for people becoming backyard farmers, raising their own chickens for fresh eggs. Well, to tell us more about how to raise chickens at home, we have Neely Green, Director of National and Local Marketing at Tractor Supply. Good morning, Neely, and I have to ask, Who's that in your hand? Who do you have there? Oh, well, this is Ingrid. She is one of the newest members of my backyard flock. She is about a week old and she is a blue cochin. Um, fun fact about this breed is they have feathered feet. Ooh. And so just an example of how unique the different breeds of chickens are. Wow, okay, we know that people are, of course, upset with the rise in price of eggs. So they've been starting to get into their own farming. So let's talk about this and why this is a great thing for some people to get into. Yes, price of eggs aside, there are so many benefits to raising your own poultry in your backyard. First and foremost, the eggs. These are eggs that came from my backyard flock. Um, it's just so wonderful to be able to go out on a cold Saturday morning, walk out to the coop and grab fresh eggs for breakfast. Um, also the taste is, to me, so much better than the ones you would get in the grocery store. There's nothing like a farm fresh egg. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what people um, are real... Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Neely. Yeah. What are you going to say? Oh, <laughs> sure. Well, also, if you have a family, this is a great way to teach your kids responsibility and get them outside. And then also for a lot of our customers, it's not even about the eggs. It's about the joy of having a flock and watching them grow into their own unique shapes, sizes and personalities. I love it. And, and I'm sorry for interrupting. I'm like so excited to see this because know, everybody is starting to get interested in, of course, doing their own uh, farming in their backyard. So where do we start? Mm -hmm. How do we do this? Where's the basic for it? So I brought some of the essentials along with me. Um, if you're getting started with your chicks, the first thing is you need some place warm to keep them. So I like to use a stock tank like this one from Tractor Supply. These are easy to clean and they're also great for um, reuse later on. You'll need a heat source, feed, fresh water, and then in a few weeks, you'll need a coop. But all of these things are things that you can find at any tractor supply store. And our team members are so good about making sure that you have everything that you need before you walk out of the store. Oh man, that's so cool. Okay, what's also cool too is that, like we here in Arizona, we, are, we have, you know, of course, farming going in and, and some of our neighborhoods, but we're starting to see it in urban, even to the point where my daughter, who's in Chicago, Right down the street is actually a, a little chicken farm at the school. It's kind of interesting. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah, there's so much interest in getting into the hobby. And especially now that regulations are lifting in some suburban and urban areas, now it's a possibility for people where maybe it wasn't before. Um, you know, there's so much interest in living a more sustainable lifestyle, knowing where your food comes from. Um, and honestly, you don't need a farm to have chickens. If you have a small coop with four to six chickens, that's perfect for the backyard. I love it. Okay, and, and so let me ask, do we start off with an egg or, or do we get the chicken? Is that what happens? Gets a little, little uh, chick? Is that what happens? And you know, what comes first, the chicken or the egg, I guess everyone wants to know. <laughs> well, for these chicks, the eggs won't come for another six months. Um, but so we, we do sell live chicks in our stores during chick days. So that's going on right now. If you want to go and, and start your flock, you can go to one of our stores and pick up your chicks. We also sell them online. If you do want the experience of hatching your own egg, you can also purchase hatching eggs on tractorsupply.com and give that a shot. Oh, that's very cool. So I like that. So you can have everything right yep. there. And of course, with uh, the Easter holiday coming up, I know a lot of people look at that to do or different little yeah. present stuff. So kind of nice to have. I love it. All right, where can people find more information? So more information at tractorsupply.com. We've got a lot of articles about chick care. Um, we also have everything that you would need for your flock at every life stage. Um, and then we also have a lot of information there about different breeds. So you can research and see which ones are the best ones for you. I love it. Um, for me, I found the most value in going to our store and talking to our team members. They're really experts in the lifestyle. So many of them have chickens and as a novice, 
it was great to be able to talk to someone who'd actually done it um, and you know get that information and honestly the reassurance. Neely, this is awesome that uh, we are able to grow, not grow, we can have chickens. I guess, do we grow them? Is that what we do? Or we, or we just breed them? What, what do we, is, uh, so, I mean, hatch, they're going to grow. <laughs> they can stay this way forever. This, yeah. is, this is why I'm heading over to Tractor Supply Company right now to learn. <laughs> Thank you, Neely. Thank you.